In this video, I'll show you how to add your scenes, scripts, and automations from Home Assistant into Google Home. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video and what is hopefully gonna be a new series of videos. I've got tons of content I want to make and tons of questions I want to answer for you guys, but when I'm making the longer um, style of videos, so the 10, 12, 15 minute type of videos, um, I don't have, it takes up a lot of time and I don't have enough time to make these shorter style videos where I can answer your questions and show you what to do inside of Home Assistant or TrueNAS or something else like that. So this is what this series is gonna be about. Hopefully I can get your questions, make a quick video about it. We probably won't go into as much detail as one of the longer style videos. Essentially this will allow me to make more content and answer your guys' questions at the same time. But don't worry, the longer style videos, I still want to keep making them. Um, um, I do enjoy making them and you guys seem to like them. I'm not gonna, they won't be going anywhere. I'll keep making them, but I want to add these into the mix as well. With that being said, if you have any suggestions for questions that you want answered in the next video, um, leave them in the comments down below and I will do my best to make a video on that. Also, we need a name for this series. I keep coming back to Home Assistant Hacks, but I'm not too sure. I don't want to make this series essentially just about Home Assistant. Um, we could do other things as well, general home automation questions or other software that you want me to cover um, so if you have any suggestions for a series name leave them in the comment box down below something like a two minute Tuesday or a teach me Tuesday or something like that leave them in the comments I really want to know your guys suggestions and the best one I might use as the title oh and if you like this video make sure to get subscribed and drop it a like I will very much appreciate it. And if you have an, a burning question that you absolutely must have answered, like right now, head over to our community Discord server. I spend tons of my time over there answering your guys' questions and hanging out, and I really enjoy it. So make sure to join the Discord server. The link is in the description down below. After posting the Google Home to Home Assistant local video, lots of you guys said you managed to get it working and everything was going great, except how did you get the scenes, scripts, and automation from your Home Assistant instance into Google Home because they don't show up by default. And the solution to that is to create a template switch and then trigger your scenes, scripts, or automations from that switch. It goes without saying that you'll need to have Google Home already integrated, whether that is through Home Assistant Local, and you can find the video for that up here, or through a Nabo Casa subscription. Head over to your config and I'm gonna show you how to integrate a Home Assistant scene with your Google Home. So first I'm starting with this scene which activates some lights in the office ready for filming videos. In the config, I create a new switch using the template platform. I then define my switches and give the first one a name of set film lights. I set a turn on property which defines the service that will be called when the on button is pressed on our switch. I call the scene turn on service and in the entity ID I call the name of the scene I want to trigger. The same is done for the turn off action because I want the scene to turn off regardless of if the on or off button is pressed. Then check your config and restart Home Assistant. Next head over to the Google Home app and say hey Google, sync my devices. Syncing devices for SwitchBot Smart and Ash Home Assistant. Once your devices are synced, scroll down and you're going to see in the uncategorized section your new scene has now um, shown up. It's now called Scene Set Film Light, and that's exactly as we set it in the config. If I turn off my lights and now execute the scene from Google Home, it's now going to turn on all my filming lights as well as this light in the background. Now let's take a look at a script. This time you can see I'm starting off with a turn on and a turn off script. Heading over to the config, I create a new switch under my already created template, this time naming it script set office lights. For my turn on action, I simply need to call the turn on script. No need for the entity ID since it's already specified in the service name. For the turn off, I do the exact same except calling the turn off script. This time I'm gonna add a value template and that's what's gonna change the state of our button so it knows to execute the turn on or the turn off action. I'm using a template here to retrieve the status of my office light. If it's on, then it will execute the turn off action and vice versa. Check your configuration and restart. Once again, after restarting Home Assistant, if we now issue the sync my devices command, sync my devices, 
And then once your devices are synced, you're gonna scroll down to the uncategorized section once again, and you're gonna see your um, script has now appeared. And you'll now see if I toggle the script from the Google Home app, it's gonna turn off this main filming light, the light above and the light behind me. And if I toggle it back on, it'll turn all those lights back on again. Now let's look at an automation. Finally, for the automation, I have an automation that I want to enable and disable. In the config, create a new switch again, and this time for the turn on and turn off action, I'm calling the automation.turn on or turn off service, and specifying the entity ID for the automation I want to control. It's worth noting that instead of enabling or disabling, you can use the automation.trigger service instead if you want to actually execute the automation. Again, in the value template, I'm using a template to retrieve the state of the automation, enable or disabled. This will again help to execute the turn on or turn off action. Check your config and then restart. Once again, sync your devices and then scroll down to the uncategorized section and you're going to see your new um, automation now appearing in the uncategorized section. If we press that, you'll now see that we have an on and off state. And now if we toggle that button, if we head over to Home Assistant, you'll see that the automation is disabled just there. Switch over, toggle it, switch back, and the automation is now enabled. Of course, you can do that with the trigger automation instead of the turn on or turn off service. And there we go, guys. That is how to add your scenes, scripts, and automations from Home Assistant into Google Home. It's obviously not a perfect solution, but it does give you a good workaround to get those entities into the Google Home app. But that's about all the time we have for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave your suggestions down below or your questions down below in the comment box and I will maybe answer them in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this new sort of style of format. It's a bit more quick to the point and I can hopefully get some more content out for you guys and answer your questions. If you did like this video, make sure to drop it a like and hit that subscribe button. Thank you all for the support as always. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Pew.